1992 proclamation. I, Empress Jose I, being the recognized widow of the late emperor, and whereas my imperial intuition tells me the need for an open door to gain a clear and wholesome exchange of ideas between the Honorable Mayor, Frank Jordan, and myself. No. And on this day, I affix my seal to such a document. <laughs> that is what I call high camp. Okay. Gordon, Gordon. Right down there, there's a couple of trees that are dying in front of him. <laughs> we don't want to collect too much because then it'll ruin him. <laughs> Why I could declare myself the widow was that the empresses were such bitches in those days <laughs> that right everybody commented, you know, that empress and that, and that, just, that puts me in the same boat. So I thought, bullshit. I'm going to declare myself something that I have nothing to do with those bitches. So I made myself the Widow Norton. So Kramer said, well, if you're going to be the Widow Norton, you should go out there and visit your husband. Emperor Joshua Norton was this eccentric, crazy man, a real historic figure in San Francisco who lost his fortune during the gold rush. And then this San Francisco paper printed his proclamation. I am the emperor, I declare myself the emperor of San Francisco. Cisco in the Americas, and I'm also the protector of Mexico. And from there, they should have never printed it because he started printing money and, and he became this character. So when Jose, and that's the brilliance of that man, decided that she didn't want to be crowned the queen of the Tavern Guild because there was too many queens, said, I'm empress. And then to top it all, she announced she's the widow of Joshua Norton. So, one Sunday, we rented a limo, we ran into the park, I, we put flowers on it, and then we got in the limo and started going out. Just as we got to the door, the general manager stopped the limo and said, would you please step into the office? Oh, Jesus, Mary. Hector says, what are you going to tell him? I said, I'm going to tell him that I went to visit my husband's grave. <laughs> he says, may I ask who you are? I says, I am the widow Norton, the widow of the late emperor. And he said, oh. And I said, I came here to put some flowers on my husband's grave. Is there something wrong? Did I violate the law? He says, no. But why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you inform the park? I said, to be very honest with you, I didn't think you would appreciate my doing so. They said, on the contrary, nobody comes out here to visit the old man. Little did I realize that he belonged to the same club. <laughs> One of the things that a performing identity enables is a kind of deeper truth that goes all the way back to Oscar Wilde who constantly proclaimed that he was lying in order to tell us the truth about ourselves. And very much in that model, I think, is Jose, who marries a man long dead, who was not an emperor but claimed to be. Doesn't matter, because in so doing, he's actually making a claim for a bigger truth in all of that falseness. A truth about, right? how it is precisely those who stand outside of culture who have the greatest possibility of changing it. So the next year came, Kramer and I made the arrangements, we informed them, they had chairs for us, they mowed the lawn. It's, this is now the second time that they fed us. And they just think it's a gas to feed us. And I think it's a bigger gas. <laughs> he gave himself a civic role. He inserted himself into the traditions and history of San Francisco. And he claimed a space 
for people who in any other civic context would have been seen as excluded outsiders. I'm looking out here today and I'm seeing a lot of people who have saw me when I was a very, very young person just beginning to scream, gay was good and you should be proud. Some of you are not carrying walking sticks. <laughs> we talk about Stonewall. By the time Stonewall came, which was 1969, we enjoyed much freedom here. We had elected officers. We had kicked a few out. We had marched. We had made this city a wonderful city, and it must continue to, to do so.